Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland. This is relaxation hypnosis for stress, anxiety and panic attacks. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Now, there's likely to be some background sounds due to the time of the day that I'm recording this. So it's 7.26 on the 2nd of February 2020. So there's sometimes a bit of activity outside. Andre may run around, who knows. But that's okay because this is not about being completely silent and it's not about falling asleep or anything like that. What this is about is, I suppose it's a mindfulness exercise, but instead of being a body scan, it's a room scan. So you'd be doing this with your eyes open. And you're going to be aware of your body because generally, let's say you're sitting down on a chair, as I am right now. Make sure you're comfortable. Make sure that the chair can support your body if you want to fall asleep. So you don't end up falling out of the chair. But as I said, this isn't about sleep. This is about... It's about relaxing, it's about calming your mind and your body. The way we're going to do it is instead of doing a body scan where you'd be focusing on the different parts of your body and how they feel and just accepting how those different body parts feel, the muscles and, you know, not trying to change them but just being aware of those physical feelings, those sensations. We're going to do something different where we're going to focus on what we can see outside of your body. So I suppose on some level it could be Uh, a dissociative kind of situation where you're distracting your mind on what's outside as opposed to how you're feeling physically. It's also a mindfulness exercise where you are focusing on what you can see. It's almost like bringing yourself back to reality, back to this moment. I want to say the word reality, I don't mean that as a put down, but more as in, you know, when we're thinking about something that might happen that's quite awful and it might happen and, you know, sort of, that's not reality. That's imagination. And imagination is powerful, as we all know. So this is not, this has nothing to do with imagination. This is completely to do with reality, this moment. Being aware of what is right now being aware of the seat, the chair that you're sitting in. You can be aware of how it feels to sit in a chair, but we're not not even really focusing on the physical side of things with this. But you're going to be aware of, or you may be aware of how you feel more relaxed, just generally by listening to me. Especially if you're a regular listener. Because then 
you maybe associate my voice with feeling calmer, feeling more relaxed, feeling more grounded, feeling, you know, more in the moment. So that's what we're doing here now. Now, I don't know what's in your room. So I can't uh, ask you to focus on, for example, the bookcase, because you might not have a bookcase. So there's a limit to what I can actually uh, guide you, how I can guide you with this. So what I thought I would do is I would mention something that I can see in my room and then have a little break you know have a give you some time to focus on something that you can see in your room that you're in so at the moment I'm sitting in my living room I'm sitting in a chair uh, it's a brown chair this will be the chair that's in my that will be in my recording studio once it's soundproofed and uh, I've got a little table next to me and I've got a drink on the side and my phone's on the side of the well it's not on the side of the table it's on top of the table the flat surface part because I have gravity in this room so it doesn't kind of doesn't lay on the side and I can talk about what's in my room. You may be sitting in your living room. You may be sitting in your bedroom. You may be listening to this sitting in a deck chair on a beach. You may be sitting in your garden. So it's not about a room specifically. It's about what you can see and for those that are listening to this that maybe have visual issues you can focus on what you can hear instead or you can imagine what you can see so those some people um that maybe have had sight loss um, recently, but they, they know what's there. They know what the garden looks like. So maybe you can just use your memory and remember if that feels comfortable to do so. Or as I said, you can focus on your hearing, or you can hear and so, you know, I try and c cover all angles, but it's difficult to know who's actually listening. But I'd like, as much as possible, to include everybody, if I can. I hope that comes across as well. So, I already feel more relaxed. See, even though I'm going to be focused on, on, on I am focusing on what's outside, you know, my, my vision, what's outside of my body. I can also feel my body because it's there. You know, the feelings in my body don't, don't disappear, but I'm noticing feelings of, well, actually pleasure in my forehead, my scalp, my face, my shoulders, across my chest and down my back, my arms. It's just sort of spreading through my body. Yeah, I'm not actually focusing on those parts of my body. I'm just aware of it. So probably there's a percentage of awareness Perhaps I'll be 10% aware of my body, 90% aware of what's outside of my body, 
visually. So I'm going to start and when I've told you what I can see, I'll just uh, name a specific thing, then, then I'll say it's, it's your turn. And I'll just wait a few seconds as you notice the thing that you're noticing. And then I'll move on and I'll, I'll notice something else. I'll mention something else that I can see. And this, is, this exercise, I would say, would be useful for calming your mind, for calming your body. Uh, just to reduce the stress levels that you have or that you had before you started to listen to this. So maybe after getting home from work or maybe you had a busy day, whatever you've been doing, or it just might have been an interaction with somebody that's left you with a, uh, an unpleasant feeling. So just to take some time and you can spend as much time doing this as you like. So even though the recording may last for half an hour, you can spend five minutes doing this, you know, in your own time. So you could say, okay, I'm just gonna notice 10 things around me, outside of my body. So I'm gonna start and then I'll say your turn. Okay, so first thing that I notice is a television. Now, I've actually got the television on, but it's on mute. And the reason why I don't tu haven't turned it off is because as it cools down, it lets off lots of clicking sounds, which is a bit annoying. So I've left it on. So I can, it's quite an obvious thing that's sort of there. But I'm not watching it. I'm focusing on this, but I can see the telly's there. Your turn. What can you see? Now, next thing I can notice would be and just I realised that you might not have had enough time or you might have had too much time during the gap that I gave. There's no way of really for me to know. But uh, when you do it on your own, you can spend an hour, if you want, focusing on one thing or you can spend three seconds. It really is your choice. So the next thing that I can notice would be my punch bag that I've got which is attached to the wall and you know it's a bracket holding it up and yeah I've just noticed it's there it's quite big so it's noticeable I'm just looking at it so your turn what's the next thing that you notice something else so there's a lamp um, it's one of those lamps that has a base it's metal it's kind of an old-fashioned style lamp it's quite nice actually and also it's it's like a desk lamp but it's high up so I can have it above the chair if I'm reading so I'm noticing that just looking at it I'm just looking at the shape the shape of it not something that I'd normally do. I don't give that lamp much attention. Hmm. Now 
it's your turn. I've noticed is when I say it's your turn and you're doing, you know, your side and looking at your object or the thing that you're looking at, I'm still look, I'm still looking at the lamp during those, I don't know, 20 seconds or, or 30 seconds, whatever it was. I'm still looking at that lamp and just, just looking at it, looking at the shape looking at the way it's standing so yeah anyway that was that was that lamp so the next thing I'm going to notice is the radiator it's to the left of me it's on the wall it's very wide it's quite a long radiator a good probably six foot long maybe yeah um, maybe five foot six foot I don't know it's fairly long anyway so I'm just looking at it, <laughs> realizing I need to give it a clean actually. Just noticing the color, the shape of it, the just certain bits. I, I really look at that radiator. I'm just looking at it now, and as I continue to look at it, I just looking, just noticing. It's your turn. You can find something to look at where you are now I'm just going to now look at something else and I find it's quite a strange kind of a strange thing to do not weird but kind of unusual yet very calming I suppose in a way it's quite nice not to have uh, the television or radio, internet, any kind of um, music or anything like that. It's quite nice to have a break from that, a little rest, you know, like visually to be looking at something that isn't on a screen that's actually here now in this moment something that's around you so if you was in a garden a tree or the grass or if you're indoors if you're in your living room or if you're in your bedroom it could be your bed wardrobe, set of drawers, curtains, windows, the roof, or the ceiling rather, the carpet. If you're in your kitchen, it could be your cooker, your fridge, freezer, washing machine. In your living room or lounge, your chair, tables, chairs, the wall, colour of the wall lampshade it could be all kinds of things it could be an ornament that you have or a book that you're you know, laying on the side or a 
plug, you know, it could be any kind of thing that's just there. It could be the door, which is what I'm going to now focus on. Let me just turn my head a bit. I'm going to focus on the door. So yeah, just noticing the door and the sun. For some reason, there's sellotape on the door handle. So that must have been something that I attached to the door handle for Andre to play with. But the sellotape's still there. I didn't even notice it until just now. I'm just noticing the door. Something that I don't give much attention to normally. It's a very old door. It's been here for many, many years. Many years, probably, I'd say a good 20 years or so. I might be exaggerating, but it's a guess. But I'm just looking at it. Noticing the shape, the length, the color. So now it's your turn to notice something that you can see in this moment. Now. can notice how you feel calmer having just noticed that thing that item in the room or you know in the space that you currently sit in you can see so as with lots of other exercises it's, this is something that can do on your own and it can sometimes just be it can be easier when you haven't got me waffling on you know sometimes it's it's nice to take your time and which is I suggest do take your time because it's a, a relaxation session and just Continue noticing things, and I'm going to end. I'm going to end the recording. But I suggest you just, just keep going, keep noticing things, and but at the same time, noticing how much calmer your mind is now compared to what it was before. How much more relaxed your body feels even though you've not aimed any relaxation at your body and you've not been trying to calm your mind these things have just happened naturally as you've been focusing on different things different parts of the room that you're in now I'm going to leave you there. Thank you for listening. I'll speak to you again tomorrow. Remember to be kind to yourself. Because you deserve to be happy. And being relaxed is part of that. Happiness. Lots of love. Bye.